Hello, this is Seher from Easy Peasy, and the topic we are going to discuss today is called as Chromosomal Theory of Inheritance. As we know that in 1865, Gregor Mendel proposed two hypotheses. That includes the hypothesis of segregation and independent assortment. But his ideas were not accepted by most of the scientists. Then in 1902 and in 1903, two scientists work independently and rediscover Gregor Mendel's hypothesis. These scientists were Theodore Boveri and Walter Sauton. Theodore Boveri was a German biologist. He was working on sea urchin and how its embryo grow and divide. After doing a lot of experiments, he concluded that all the chromosomes had to be present for the proper embryonic development to take place. On the other hand, in the same era, an American biologist named as Walter Sauton was working on grasshopper, and he proposed that chromosomes occur in matched pairs, and gamete contains a full set of unpaired chromosomes and they contribute the same number of chromosomes during fertilization in the offspring. Now, by the combined study of these two scientists, the chromosomal theory of inheritance came into being. Chromosomal theory of inheritance is also called as Bouveri Sauton theory of inheritance. That includes that chromosomes occur in matched pairs. As we know that human contains 46 number of chromosomes, so they made 23 pairs of chromosomes. And each pair have same type of genes on it, that's why they are called as homologous pair of chromosomes. Then in meiosis, the chromosome pair move to the opposite pole during anaphase. Now this phenomena is quite similar to the law of segregation proposed by Gregor Mendel. The gametes have half the number of chromosomes as of the parent cell. As we can see that human beings contain 46 number of chromosomes and it is called as diploid cell. But while making gametes, these cells will become haploid and it has 23 number of chromosomes in it. Now the sperm and egg contribute the same number of chromosomes during fertilization. The chromosome present in these gametes can assort independently while making gametes. So the possible type of gametes that can be made by humans are 8,388,608. And this phenomena is quite similar to the law of independent assortment proposed by Gregor Mendel. During fertilization, the random assortment of unpaired maternal and paternal chromosomes of one gamete fuse with a random assortment of another individual chromosome, creating a genetically unique offspring. And this offspring have, again, 46 number of chromosomes, the same number contributed by the sperm and egg of both male and female. So, by this way, the hypothesis of Gregor Mendel was accepted by most of the scientists. There were few scientists that were still confused and not accepting these ideas, including Thomas Hunt Morgan. Then later on, Thomas Hunt Morgan was the scientist who discovered Mendel's hypothesis by working on fruit fly called as Drosophila melanogaster. The experiments of Thomas Hunt Morgan on Drosophila melanogaster was explained in a separate video. The link of that video will be given in the description box. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you like it, please subscribe our channel. Thank you. Bye-bye.